Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, October 31st. It's the 20th week after Pentecost and week 3 in the psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalm 40 and Luke chapter 12, verse 13 to 31. And a programming note here, uh, because November the 1st, which is uh, the traditional celebration of All Saints Day, falls on Saturday, which is so close to Sunday. We're going to celebrate that on Sunday this year. And so the Eve of All Saints will be celebrated on Saturday. Please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Sing all you nations to our God. Sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record, God's honors and your joys. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Alleluia, Psalm 40. And please recite it together with me. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. You brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of a miry clay. You set my feet upon a high rock and established my paths. You have put a new song in my mouth, praise to you, our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in you. Blessed are they that put their trust in you, and do not respect the proud, nor liars. Many are your wonderful works and your plans for us. None can be compared to you. If I would tell and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. In your book it is written of me that I delight to do your will, O my God. Yes, your law is written in my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. You know that I have not kept quiet. I have not hidden your justice within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness, nor your truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your tender love from me, my beloved God. Let your loving kindness and your truth always preserve me. For innumerable evils have crowded in on me. My sins have taken hold of me so that I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and I lose heart. Be pleased, O beloved God, to deliver me. O my God, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek to destroy me. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let them that love your salvation always say, God most high be glorified. I am poor and needy, and yet you remember me. You are my helper and my savior. O oh my God, do not delay. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Alleluia. Here is a lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 12, beginning at verse 13. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who sent me to be a judge or arbiter over you? 
And he said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. And then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, What should I do, for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, I will do this. I'll, build, I'll pull down my barns and build even larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about all the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of the world that strive after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and all these things will be given to you as well. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. None can be compared to you, O God. Remember your people, and be our help when you hear our cry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church, and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.